Okay, so I'm going to start gluing up some of the stock to start cutting out that plug. And basically what I've decided is it's going to be glued up with blocks like this. So four wide and then I'm going to have them at 45 inches. And so we'll mill at 44. All right, so there's the first block down. Uh, you can see that there are some gaps, like right here is a pretty decent gap, and also here. But uh, again, I'm uh, not really gonna worry about small gaps like that because it's all gonna be filled in and fared later. All right, so here is that plug, and so here is it all split up. So I'm, I couldn't fit it all into three sections so there is a fourth section way up in the front there uh, but so we essentially without counting the front we got three vertical sections and then it's a layer of three going down and then like a half at the very bottom so it's going to be a decent amount of cuts but this is the first one that i'm going to do so this one that's popping up up and away is the first one I'm going to cut out and so you can see cut out the shapes like this stack and glue the whole thing together to get the plug so I'm gonna cut this first one out see how it does and then if that goes great I'm gonna go through the rest of these sections and work out the tool paths so you can see like that's the path of the tool what it's gonna do um, so if the first one's good I'll go through the rest and program all those So as far as the tools go, uh, to be able to make these cuts, I had to make this uh, this cutter here. And so I've used this for a lot of other, I needed it for other things as well. Um, kind of janky, but it, it does do exactly what it's supposed to do. So it needed to be half inch to be stiff enough. And this is obviously only okay to use on foam. So here is piece number one, piece one of like 16, something like that. Uh, so this is the very back. So this is the very back of the boat here. And you can see, so that's kind of the, you know, the bottom of the whole shape there with some of those reverse chines, stuff like that. All right, so number two is now done. So we're starting to taper down into that uh, front portion of the hull. And so you can see this process of milling out a plug is, is relatively easy. I mean, these fit together really well. And because it's foam, I mean, the, the fairing afterwards is, is very easy to do as well. I mean, just like 120 grit sandpaper on a fairing board and you're pretty much in business. And just from looking at this so far, uh, I know I printed out the, or cut out a small model, and also have looked at the computer model for, for weeks at this point, but to actually see it full size, it's, uh, it's really nice to see. And just from looking at it, I'm getting pretty excited because this new design, I, I just see it being so much better than the previous design. All right, so I put on my thinking cap this morning and it turns out I do not need to like completely fill in the center of the cutouts that go below those first pieces that we did yesterday. All right, so everything is now cut. It's been a solid, unfortunately it's taken maybe a day and a half of just cutting, cutting, cutting. And most of the issues propped up because I was using this glued together foam chunks so occasionally I'd be like 
at the end of a cut and a chunk would blow out and it would just tear off the uh, tear off the table and then I would have to re-glue and recut. So I, unfortunately I had to re-glue and recut maybe three of these, three to four of these pieces. So there we go. So we have the plug. We have a flange in here. And again, this is something I need to correct because of a, a messed up cut. Um, but we have a flange going all the way around. But uh, yeah, so you can kind of get a pretty good look at what's going on. Overall, quite happy with how this turned out. I plan to go pick up some materials, uh, fairing compounds and whatnot tomorrow.